everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, hi, my name is Sarah. I'm excited to have you. Today, we are going to be cleaning my basement. This morning, I actually had some friends come over for a mommy back to school brunch, and the young kids had a blast playing in the basement. But now that it's over, it's time for me to go downstairs, straighten up, and disinfect this space. Before we jump into cleaning, I wanted to introduce to you Kimberly from Bits and Bites. This is my second collaboration with her. I love her channel. She produces a lot of mommy content, cleaning videos, meal planning, etc. Please be sure to check out her in the description box below. She's also going to be doing a clean with me video. Make sure you head over there after you finish this one. To begin cleaning today, I'm going to go ahead and start kind of clearing out this closet. I actually have a full video where I purged and reorganized this closet. I will link it in the description box below. But today I'm kind of just going back through this, putting toys back where they belong and kind of organizing them by type. The next space I am tackling is our under the stairs room, AKA the weapon bin room. We have four boys in our house, so we have more Nerf guns, more Ninja Turtle weapons, more swords, more bow and arrows, etc. than we know what to do with. And all of them are stored in our under the stairs room. So I'm just going ahead and cleaning those up right now because all the little boys that come over to play love to pull these out. It feels good to finally be able to see the floor in this under the stairs space. I do want to share that this is actually one of my most favorite parts of our house. We allowed the kids to paint under here when we first moved in before we put the new carpet in and they like each put their little handprints on it, painted like little pictures. It's honestly one of my favorite spaces and I've also written like some encouraging like Bible verses slash like words of encouragement under here for when they're under here playing slash reading books etc. They can kind of like keep those good things in mind. So I just love this little space. I know I was a fool to think that you would wait for me Why did I let you go? But I can't help but find your picture one more time to see Your face light up my phone I don't know what the future will be holding now y'all don't judge me on this, but today I pulled out the big guys. I pulled out the Lysol to disinfect these toys and the downstairs bathroom. Honestly, last year I did all natural cleaners. I did Norwex, I did essential oils, all the natural stuff. And in my home, we were sicker than we have ever been. All of my kids got the flu last year. All of them got sick like every other week. And I don't know if it's because I didn't pull out like Lysol and Clorox and stuff like that. But this year I'm not taking any chances. I am disinfecting with Lysol again and I do not feel bad about it. So this bathroom, hideous. I hate this bathroom. 
So be on the lookout for an upcoming video. We are actually getting ready to overhaul this bathroom. My goal is to make it more inviting, more cozy, make it more of like a farmhouse style. Right now I'm inserting a little clip from our master bathroom farmhouse makeover. If you have not seen that video, I will link it in the description box below, but we were able to renovate our entire master bathroom for under $300 and it made such a huge difference. So my goal is to make the basement bathroom as inviting. The basement is now cleaned and disinfected and it's ready for the kids to come in and make another mess. But that's going to conclude today's video. I hope that you all liked it. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you like my content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, don't forget to hop over to Kimberly's channel and check out her Clean With Me video. Let her know in her comments that I sent you. And with all of that be being said, I will see you guys on the next video.